back to another video where I have the whole fam now, and this time we're not gonna act like idiots. We okay? might. We're not gonna act like idiots. We might. Okay. Uh, no, we won't. Okay. Um. Okay. So this box, it's a, it's a little late that we're doing it. Um. Gotta have another one coming in April, pretty dang close. But uh, you know what? It's, 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 it's better late than never. All right. Okay. Okay. Okay, then we just go. We just go hop right into it. Excuse you. That's rude. Interrupting my video. Okay. So, and then we just gonna do the. Now, don't everybody reach your hands in here, okay? I'll do the scavenger hunt. Thank you very much, okay? Because last time it was a mess. Okay. So, first we have some lemony potato chips, okay? Ooh, lemon. Some lemony Ooh, potato chips. Lemon. I, I'm not a fan of lemony of Me lemonies, either, really. but Daniel but, likes them. This, this is some, our sister DNA. Here you go. You have the effort. The okay. effort of opening them. Artisan potato chips, lemon and black pepper flavored. Yeah. They are addictively zesty. Take a gander. <laughs> and authentically Spanish. Ah. So in the Spanish masterpiece, still life with lemons. Oranges and a rose. 1633. I have no idea what that means. Painter Francisco de Zerberian. The bottom <laughs> depicts, you guessed it, lemons, oranges, and a rose. Three ordinary objects, right? Guess again. To trained art critics of the 17th century, the careful placement of the objects clearly symbolized the Holy Trinity. To snack connoisseurs like us and you, this yum inspires a similar awe. Okay, I don't understand any what you just said. Oh, okay, what they're talking about. Okay, I okay. mean he's excited. Maybe. On first opening of the bag, smells like regular potato chips. Hmm. Anybody else? Yeah, I got to taste it for the people. My mouth is like drooling. I'm acting like I've never seen food before. Hmm. Here's your. I mouth. definitely get a lemon hint. What about you guys? They do smell regular. At first, it was a little bit funky. Mm. It's funky at first. Uh huh. That's Almost good. like tangy. Now it's good. <laughs> it's like zesty. Yeah. But I will keep going back for more. Yeah, these are kind good. The zesty, sandwich. like tangy, like with this. It, 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 it tastes <laughs> like um, what lemony. I I Zingy. <laughs> what are those chips? It's not sour cream and onion. The other one. Mmm. Or yes. salt and vinegar oil. Yes. What are those? That's what salt? it tastes like. Mm -hmm. It tastes like salt and vinegar chips. Good point. Good point. The character good, though. Um, three ordinary flavors, lemon zest, a dash of black pepper, and an extra crisp potato chip comes together to make a truly heavenly trio. I don't know about heavenly. Maybe you're going a little too far there, hunting. Okay, what's up next? Uh, fried bacon and cheese chip cones. Wait, now, should we rate them on a scale of 1 to 10? No, it's an idea. Jerry, if you want to. What do you think? Um, since it tastes like salt and vinegar, I mean, I'm more of a sour cream and onion person, but mm -hmm. I have had salt and vinegar chips, so... um. Maybe five. Okay. And six. Seven for me. Pretty good. They taste like regular chips. Seven too. Yeah. I know, but they're not bad. Okay. And now, personally, y'all know we don't eat no pork or bacon. So, uh, Keep we ain't gonna be trying these. <laughs> Keep it all <hello>. out! <laughs> but I will allow y'all to smell it. Anybody want to smell? No, thanks. I don't want to smell it. What the f? <laughs> Just thinking of the bacons. Okay. Excuse you, bye. <laughs> Fried bacon and cheese cones. Okay, well, these are Spain's cheesier, crunchier, better bugle. Uh, I Ooh. think not. Hi. I think not. I you are stand bugles. corrected. Now for the crown jewel of Spanish cuisine. Jamon Ibarico. <laughs> okay. Like any masterpiece, Iberian ham requires both technique and patience. First, hogs are fed a diet acorns, a diet acorns, chestnuts, and olives. What? Oh, how are pigs even gonna eat that? Okay. <laughs> then their extra tender meat is cured for up to three years. Damn. Okay. Lots of chips. Only then can it be cooked into crispy bacon and served up alongside fresh bread and cheese. Lucky for you, these cheesy cones have all the flavor of Spanish crown jewel. No hogs or three-year waiting period required. Okay, that's nasty. I don't care about that. Next. Spicy mango gummies. The Germany one no has so many good like, um, chocolates. And this one has a pit. 
Oh, yes. By the way, this is Spain. This is, yeah, this is Spain. Oh, did I say that? Oh, no. I don't think so. I'm still thinking about the Germany one. Like, it was so Today we're going to Spain! <laughs> 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 Gummies, like, they look like. <laughs> 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 you're probably gonna pick stuff. Oh, wait, I see them. They're right there. Spicy mango. Spicy, spicy mango gummies. Spain's fruitiest, spicy, fieriest, 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 fieriest gummy candy. This oh. Spanish oh. adventure is about to heat up no, a lot. Don't touch them, Zuma. Like a lot, a lot. And that has everything to do with this yellow. Okay. Spicy <laughs> mango. I'm choking you. Okay. Oh, okay, I'm so I'm disappointed. Like, I wanted dessert, and I felt like this one was going to have lots of sweets, but I feel like it's not. Like, I want chocolate. Wait, the cookies. sweets are done. Yeah, they it's are, about snacks. Dumb. Not so much. The same as sweet box. The yum box. Come on, we're only on the second one. We're yeah. not talking about these gummies being a hot commodity, though. They're so tasty. They're scored a spot inside all of our Spain boxes. Oh, really? I'll be oh. the judge of that, okay? Because I've never seen this before. So, uh, yellow. Uh,. <laughs> Not to mention, they're one of our yum shop mm -hmm. best-selling products all the, of Can all time. Trying, yeah? We're not talking about Spanish right mangoes being hot either, though no. <laughs> they're so grown cute. on the coastal strip of southern Andalusia, uh, Andalusia? Andalusia? known as the Costa del Sol, which avert, <laughs> which is <laughs> a whopping three hundred and twenty. Hot and sunny days, correct. <laughs> so what are we talking about? Well, you'll have to try one of these mangoes to truly understand. After a burst of juicy mango sweetness comes a wave of... <laughs> what the hell? Are you giving me a vocabulary lesson? No, look at my... Scintillating... <laughs> okay, nobody cares. I have no snacks. Spiciness, you have to taste to believe. Yeah, yeah. Better go chew in <laughs> and get ready for a box full of Spanish surprises like this one. Spicy, sweet, and everything in between. Okay. Oh, cute. Why don't you put on your readers? Uh, no, I can read. It's just that all these vocabulary lessons up in here. <laughs> <laughs> so, on um, first smell for me, it's, it's like giving me it artificial. Be like, don't use your SAT words on me. Oh, oh, honestly, it's giving me major artificial. Oh, okay, I honestly, and these look like nuts from the picture. Like, is that oh, a gummy to you? Right. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna pass. They look like little kidney shapes. I know I want to pass too, but like this looks like a nut. Okay, I can't get like close in there. I'm not okay. trying to touch. I'm not an elastic girl up in here, so. Holy shit, dude! They are spicy. Oh my oh, god, that's spicy. I'm gonna lick it. Ew. That's strange. Oh my god, I don't like this at all. It's spicy, but it's not like hot, 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 hot. It's like this kind of cool. It's I don't tingly. Know. Yeah, it's like tingly, but not like hot, hot. Mm, that's very weird. Okay. Now there's interesting. It's kind of cool. There's gonna be. It's almost like pop rocks. A candy stuff. bag in here. Daniel, you wanna open that? That's gonna have our candy. Yes, ma'am. We learned about. No more candies. I don't like candy. Spanish chocolate toffees. I want chocolate. I want chocolate. Northern Spain soft milky specialty. Okay, but Suma wasn't the dirty one so good. Chocolate's arrival in Spain. Oh, wait, sorry, Maya, what did you rate those? Oh, um. um a three. five. Five? They're Holy cool. shit, those were like a one or two for me. Bitch, those you didn't even like it. Find my ass. Bitch, disgusting. You will lie. <laughs> Bitch, you can't say, oh, these are spicy. You like, let me get a bite of it. And then you say, five. I <laughs> Bro, those are nasty. <laughs> Okay, I got a, a yum yum bag. Yeah. Yummy bag. Okay, let's go. Hey, oh. like Chocolates and treats. Chocolates okay. and treats. Chocolates and treats. Uh, Chocolates and treats. Now I'm doing you people. So this is red on black. Chocolate's arrival in Spain is a mouthwatering mystery. One story states that the Aztecs first introduced chocolate to the Spanish conquistador Herman Cortez in 1519. Bitch, don't be eating stuff. Sorry. God, I told you, keep your sticky finger to yourself. I'm not going to be nice in this one. Another story claims um, Guatemalan frères first gave cocoa beans as a gift to Philip II of Spain in 1544. What we know for sure, once they were popularized in Spain, cocoa beans were worth more than gold. 
Sounds a bit extreme, sure, but just wait until you try the supremely smooth, downright decadent chocolate toffee. It's delicious, and deliciousness is no mystery. So it's the chocolate toffees. Oh! What, why did you do that? Really, I'm here. I don't think it stopped. Is it still? Oh, that was so scary. Yeah, okay. the computer will like. The computer turn locked up on us. Okay. Yeah, like the computer will lock. <laughs> chocolate also. toffees. Chocolate toffees are the brown ones. Everyone take a toffee. There's just enough for one for everyone. Chocolate toffees. Yeah, ironically. Okay. Like four. I don't know. They're hard. Yeah, it's, it's like a chewable candy, or yeah, you it's suck on it? It's chewable. Oh, it's toffees though. Oh. But it does seem like it would be hard. That's what she said. <laughs> mm, they're not bad. The German ones are better though. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Just might take a second. <laughs> this is bad on my cavities. <laughs> <laughs> you can get a spit cup if you don't want to eat it. No, oh, I like it. Kind <laughs> of oh, Yeah. It's like a tootsie roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> exactly like a tootsie roll, to be honest. Okay, now this one, I know you are not going to eat because it is sour pineapple gummies. Remy, that's enough. Mm. Which I believe okay. is. I don't like spank snacks. Those were pretty good, to be honest. It looks like But nothing new? Yeah, I literally saw them. White chocolate, white chocolate. Bish, we are going in order. I should okay. try them. Okay. What do you guys rate those on the scale of 1 to 10? Um, I give it a 6. Me too. I mean, Tootsie Rolls, so. A 2. I kind of a 5, though, rips. because, yeah, we've had those before. I almost said 5, two. also. Yeah. yeah, so. Okay, um, do! Sticky excited. finger. <laughs> Maybe Spain's most impressive gummy. Um, no, I'll be no the me. judge of that. Want to impress your friends? Share this yum. Back in the late 15th century, pineapples were extremely expensive due to their susceptibility to spoiling on the voyage from the New World. Naturally, they became a status symbol, with wealthy Spaniards serving fresh pineapple to only the most esteemed guests. Since pineapples are a little less impressive nowadays, these super sour, sugar-encrusted pineapple gummy rings are your best bet to blow your friend's mind. If you're willing to share, that is. Hmm, super sour. They put their stuff way too high. It's like, okay, calm me tits. Like, your stuff is not that delicious. Okay. Ooh. I've only tasted one thing that was freaking deliciousness, and it was egg yolk popcorns. Egg yolk popcorns? Oh my god, egg yolk popcorns is delicious. Why not? Because. Oh, oh my god, then don't be putting your nasty ass fingers all over it. Like, so damn. Yeah, don't be like fingering the freaking food if you're not gonna have it. Cause I know you touch a dog all day, you don't wash your hands, okay? Damn, I think when I want to set those ones out. I'm not big on gummies, and I already tried those other ones. You know what? They're, They're actually real. really sour. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> oh my damn. Oh my damn. <laughs> <laughs> drink the water, drink the water. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my damn. Daniel, put that. Save me. Just don't throw it over here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Alright, stuff in my stuff in this. Okay. How was it, Maya? What? Well, as if pineapple isn't sour enough, I don't think you needed to add more of the sour because you're trying to kill someone like that, okay? okay. Damn, okay. Spain tried to kill me. I'm not a little song Spain. Spain. Spain tried to kill me. Okay. Damn. <laughs> I never been trying to. I never thought of. I never thought my death would be a death by pineapple. You know. Yeah. You know. <laughs> God help me. Go on my. Go on damn. Okay. White chocolate and caramel candy. Okay. Yeah. And I saw that. That was in the roll. I think so. But that oh, looks so wow. disappointing. No, that's the caramel. Wait, no, that is it. That don't look like white chocolate. It looks like caramel. What? I got it. That's it. Try the beloved Spanish gold for yourself. Okay, I thought it was Spanish gold. That's Spanish it. gold. Hunting for gold? 2,000 years ago, Spain would have been a great place to look. Las Meduelas gold mm -hmm. mine, located in the nor northern province of, <laughs> province of Leon, 
was once the ancient <laughs> Romans' primary mining site. A staggering 60,000 laborers extracted 20,000 pounds of gold every year. Fortunately for us modern folk, we've gotten an easier and tastier way for you to strike Spanish gold <laughs> by popping open this tube of Spain's famous caramel nuggets. Wait, caramel? I thought you were white chocolate and caramel. <laughs> okay. That's why it looks like that. It's so annoying, dude. Oh, okay. They look like... I was like a... Like it's a weird. Do they? Oh, they, they look like M&M's. M&M's. They smell weird. Oh. Why do you have so much attention? They're like M&M's. Oh my gosh. There's They're so literally cool. like orange skinny M&M's. Oh, no. M&M's. Wow. wow. Hey, Remy wants one. No chocolate for dogs. Well, you know you can't have no chocolate. Little bitty M&M's. Oh my they are M&M's. Ooh. She likes to she likes to get the after ones. Like for instance, like I'm definitely saving that one. I looked over the book ahead of time and I'm like, Mom, you're gonna like this one. Oh, um, she sweet. usually does do it with mm-hmm. me, but I mean she knows that you guys want to be a part of it, so. Uh-huh. Okay. Now this one we definitely we have, have a not mom. Had. She's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you're so stupid. Yeah, a couple of times she's taken over for me in my videos. Um, but yeah, so that's my boo. My mama is my boo. Am I a boo too? Okay. Um <laughs> So custard cream, portadillo. What, what the hell is a portadillo? It sounds like an armadillo. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. Dillo. Yeah, name filled snack cake. Nom, it's nom, a moist nom, cake nom. signature to the south of Spain. So it's a cake. Yeah, it feels like a cake. What is portadillo? it called? It's cream a filled custard cake? cream portadillo. The origin story behind this yum is a bit of who done it. Sure, it's well known that Catholic nuns in southern Spain were the first to make cortadillos. Okay, first of all, what the hell is a cortadillo? This looks delicious. Thing is, nuns in the Andalusian, mm. what the hell is an Andalusian cities 
of civil caddis hulva and a sit okay what the hell y'all making me do a vocabulary test in here all claim the cake as their own creation so we may never know who really invented the treat but rest assured this who done it is anything but unsatisfying how could it be when we still get to relish the pillow soft cake luscious cream filled and all no. Okay. No. Like no. literally. No. Okay. Get away. Uh, the laptop keeps blocking off. Yo, seriously, like completely turned off. No, no. Okay. okay. So, this shit looked delicious. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> oh, dang. And it's creamy in the middle, yep. <laughs> I'm just say custard cream. Mm hmm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Mm-hmm, that shit delicious. Mm -hmm. That's good. That is good. That's good. Mm. I'm intrigued by this. Me too. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Can little mama get some? A little messy. Okay, well, we'll go get a little messy. Thanks. I thought it was going to be like a... Good job, Spain. Butter... Ooey gooey butter cake. Is it? Not really. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it's still good. Hi, Rami. Do you want to go back on the oh camera? My gosh. It's pretty good. It's the best thing so far. I know you do. <gasps> Damn, why is Rami not bugging you? I don't know. Okay, don't make him up here with the food. If you're putting That's pressure on his leg, he could be doing that. Unsanitary. Mm -hmm. What the? Okay, what's next? He just wants to play. Get your toys. Dark Dude, chocolate. my dog. Dark okay, chocolate. That bar. was pretty good. I give it a seven. With? Oh, yeah, I gave it a, uh, an eight. The, the bar. I'll yeah. give it a six Dude, and a half, seven. Mm. Oh, this is racist. Why am I? It's called Chocolate Negro. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Okay. So this what is black in Spanish? I think it is Negro. Dude, nobody cares. It's not a Spanish no, it's vocabulary not Negro. thing. It's... Um, it is. Is it? Mm -hmm. I don't know Spanish. Really? Oh. I think so. I took Spanish in elementary school. What is it in Arabic? <laughs> Shut up, dude. That's why right. does that freaking matter? Like, stop being irrelevant. <laughs> Speckled with Spain's famous candied orange. Okay, well, I like Spain. <laughs> 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 that's nothing He's crazy. so okay. <laughs> Time to oh, explore is. the Orchard of Spain. Uh, Situated in the country's sunny eastern shore, yeah. Valencia has grown famously sweet oranges since Arabic <laughs> sultans first introduced Next the fruit back in the 10th party. century. <laughs> Nowadays, the city produces over 1.6 million tons of oranges per year. The city streets are even lined with orange trees. With this dark chocolate speckled with candy orange peel, you'll experience Spain's most fruitful tradition in this most decadent form yet. Oh, okay. that was a good I'm looking forward to this one, honestly. Me too. That's where you have to dig in. Oh, oh All right. sorry. Sure oh, I didn't think Maya was going to let us. I wish we were eating McDonald's cheeseburgers right now. Okay, so uh, we we stop being pieces. irrelevant. Like, seriously, I'm not going to let you in any video to be keeping it irrelevant. If you can't keep the sticky fingers to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay, a little chocolate bar. Okay, now don't. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Yeah, don't take a whole square because again, I want to say something. Else. Yeah. Oops. Wait, what's in it? Um, it's just dark chocolate bar with orange peel. Okay, no, take him down. What the heck? Is it good? Like, just unsanitary. You're not take your dog up on the food. Like, damn, you're really about to piss me off. I told you I'm not gonna be nice during this video. It's okay. Layla, do you want that? Is it good? It's yeah. Okay. Um, it's just like. Like, we have that. It's like orange chocolate here. Mm -hmm. You know, the chocolate with orange in it. Yeah, you can, can you cut me a small piece? Mm, okay, you. do you not take more, please? Wait, what did you say, Sam? Can you cut me a small piece? Oh, yeah. You do not just hear like what I said. Down. 